Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the various types of links uh, when users try to share content from within a SharePoint or OneDrive. Uh, let me clarify to you what I'm talking about. So if you hover over, uh, let's say, a file or folder, and in this case, I have a library, I have a folder, and you know a bunch of stuff uh, underneath the folder. But when I hover over the file or folder, doesn't really matter. You get the same uh, commands and the uh, same types of uh, uh, links. Uh, you uh, get to see two options, share and copy link. All right. Uh, so uh, what is first of all, what is the difference between the two? Uh, the, there is pretty much no difference, technically speaking. All right. When you create, when you uh, click on the copy link, what happens is that it just generates a link that you can copy. So I, I copied my link uh, now, and now I can take my link. I can uh, go to Teams, paste it, send a link to someone. I can go to Outlook uh, and send an email to someone with a link. And of course, the user will uh, receive uh, an email from me with a link. They click on the link and they get access uh, to the content I shared. All right, so that's essentially what copy link is. Share allows you, it's pretty much the same as copy link, but it allows you to save some time and send an email from within SharePoint. So instead of me, let's say I want to, sh to um, share content with Mary, my colleague Mary, I could obviously copy a link, uh, send uh, Mary a personal email, paste the link. Uh, if I want to save some time, I, I just click uh, share, uh, just like I did, and pretty much send an email to Mary right from within uh, from within SharePoint, all right? In this case, and I can specify personal message, but in this case, the email, Mary will get an automated email. It's not going to come um, you know, from my email address. It's going to be an automated kind of an email from Microsoft, from SharePoint. And uh, uh, it will include the link plus the personal message. So the bottom line is copy link and share work the same way. I mean, it's the same sort of permissions that has been generated by both. Uh, right for, for the recipient, except share allows you to send an email from within uh, from within uh, uh, SharePoint and save some time. Or OneDrive, right? I mean, copy a link and share uh, the same commands, by the way, that are available in your OneDrive as well, all right? Uh, now, if we do click on either copy link or share, we do get uh, different options in terms of the links that have been generated. And essentially what this relate to, uh, you know, how secure you know, the links will be, how secure the content will be when you share it. Uh, let me quickly go over the various types of links you have in here. So anyone which is, happens to be grayed out because uh, I disabled it uh, at my tenant level, anyone is essentially anonymous access, all right? Anyone, uh, you can enable it at the tenant level. I really don't like that. Uh, and the reason is because anyone, what that means is that um, that it doesn't require the user to authenticate, all right? So what that means, if I uh, did have the anyone link enabled, what that means is that it's pretty much a link that I can send to someone and they just, they don't even need to authenticate or uh, all log in to access the content. So it's a very non-secure link. Uh, I believe it is enabled by default in OneDrive. It's not enabled in SharePoint. You can enable it though, but not recommended because you can send me an anonymous link this anyone link and I can just post it to my Facebook account. Uh, you will never know who clicked on your content at all. All right, it is what it is. Uh, the next type of link, people within uh, your organization type of link, this is the default link that usually comes up. Uh, and you can, by the way, tweak uh, the default link in the admin settings uh, in the SharePoint Admin Center. But essentially uh, what this link means is that, and this is a default link, what that means is that if I, send an invitation to Mary now, all right, and send her this, uh, you, know, you know, this uh, uh, folder or, or document, whatever I'm sharing, what that means is that Mary can then forward that email to anyone else within the organization. That link will work for anyone, even though I, uh, I only send it to Mary, all right? So that's essentially what this uh, type of link means. Uh, people with existing access, uh, this pretty much uh, only, what that means is that, let's say Mary is part of the site, right? Mary, look at this, Mary is, uh, is my team member. Mary is part of the site. So what that means is that if I, uh, if I decide to share this content, but I really don't want Mary to you know, forward it to anyone else, 
uh, all right, uh, that, that, that link. Uh, what that means is that uh, I, I can leave people with existing access. So what that means is essentially that uh, it will only work for people who have access to this piece of content already, all right, because Miri already has access to the site, you know, just like I have access to the site, uh, where there are only two people who have access to the site, that means that no one else, if they click on this link, if Mary decides to forward that email to someone, they click on the link, they will not be able to uh, to uh, pretty much access the content, all right? Uh, so this is definitely more secure than this one. Uh, and then the uh, last option, the last option, uh, specific people, this is an option where you can specify, pretty much this is an option where you explicitly, um, you know, kind of specify who the link will work for. This is the option that you need to choose if you want to share externally, all right? Anytime you share externally, you need to choose uh, this option, all right? Because this is where you can specify. So for example, you, you know, again, I'm going to specify Mary, I'm going to specify my uh, external user uh, over here. But essentially what that means is that this link will only work for users you specify, all right? It will only look, it will only work for users uh, you specify uh, and no one else. And this is another way to kind of make sure that the uh, uh, the uh, content, uh, I guess, will not be uh, shared unintentionally, all right? Uh, so essentially, these are the four types of links uh, available to you. Again, by default, uh, by default, uh, you, you always get people within your organization link. Uh, but you can tweak those settings in the SharePoint Admin Center. You can specify the default link types uh, that come up and restrict it as uh, necessary, right? One last thing I wanted to mention before we end this video, my SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, it's a place where you can enroll in a variety of SharePoint and Office 365 courses. Uh, all the courses are available on demand. So once enrolled, you can pretty much take them at your own pace. Uh, you navigate to the Academy by going to academy.sharepointmaven.com and I will also leave the link uh, in the uh, video notes as well. Uh, but once you make it to the site, um, you can uh, access all the courses. Uh, I have two different categories for you to choose from. I have some end user courses. I have some uh, site owner courses and I constantly record and add additional courses for you to enroll in. Uh, and again, once enrolled, you can access those courses at your own pace from the convenience uh, of your computer. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover today in this video. Hopefully you learned something new today. As always, uh, happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.